cord clamping now here for about two years and there was always a question of whether doing the delete clamping would affect the, the cord gases and whether we should be trusting the gases. There weren't any really good studies to give us that answer and so that's why we started collecting the different samples and it's important now to have that information and know that we can trust the cord gases and treat the baby accordingly. I, I think it's a good uh, uh, collaboration between the different the department and the institutions. About two years ago, uh, Dr. Shirley Sampson approached me uh, asking about this procedure that is not to implement it according to uh, medical society guidelines. But because of there is an impact on natural medicine test, we look at the, this uh, data and then uh, uh, did some statistic uh, analysis and write a paper get this published. So it turned out to be a very good work. Once the baby's born, we delay clamping in pretty much everybody as long as the baby's vigorous and doesn't need resuscitation. So we basically automatically put the baby up on the mother's chest and they can do skin to skin right away. The only time would be that if the cord is really short, like physically you just can't get the baby up high enough onto the chest, but that's very rare. So it shouldn't interfere with skin to skin or bonding. Patients shouldn't really notice a difference in their baby. It has been shown to uh, increase blood volume and especially increase iron stores in babies. So this is especially important for premature babies who are more likely to get anemia, uh, breastfed babies who um, are not getting extra iron like supplemented in formula, and also very important for patients in developing countries or poor countries where uh, the nutrition is very poor and they can't afford to, to give their babies iron supplements. Substantial literature indicates that the delayed cold clamping will bring additional 80 to 100 ml of blood from the placenta, which normally will be discarded, to the baby. So the baby will have much less chance for anemia and much less chance for the intraventricular hemorrhage, which is a bleeding in the brain, and also some of the necrotizing enterocolitis uh, complications it actually has been shown to benefit um, even healthy term babies and so uh, WHO which is the World Health Organization recommends that um, delayed cord clamping be done for all deliveries. It is exciting. I mean, it's always exciting and interesting to do medical research and to try to answer questions. It's important information for us here in Fredericton, but for doctors and patients everywhere. Mm -hmm.